There is a trend of raising and falling. Reading the price language. There is a signal to buy and sell and bid farewell to few the deal. In the last episode, we have introduced the candlestick line and its structure. But why do we need to understand candlestick? In this video, we will talk about its evaluation and meaning. Let's first look at how the candlestick line involved in successive price changes. This horizontal line shows the opening price and the closing price are the same. It is called a four-piece dodgy. It often occurs at the market opening moment or during a period with minimum trade volume, or when the price goes up, then finally goes back to where it started. Price changes when the market becomes active. A small candle with a short entity is formed. The green part indicates a price goes up, and it is called a bullish. Where the right part indicates the price goes down, it is called the bearish. When the market becomes more active, the bullish and bearish will be more longer. And when the transaction period becomes extremely active, the very bullish and very bearish will be even longer. So how is the shadow formed? Let's go back to when the market just opened. The price falls gradually. And when the price falls to a certain price, a group of actively buying investors gradually appear in the market, pushing the price up step by step and forming a lower shadow line. And as shown in the feature, the entity becomes shorter with a lower shadow line. It is usually called the hammer line. When the candle entity becomes the star line, we call it the cross. And the horizontal line on the right is the four-piece dodgy. We have introduced that earlier. As the buying power becomes stronger and stronger, the price gradually rises, forming two bullish up candles. When the price rises to a certain height, a group of activity selling investors appear in the market. The price is slowly surprised, forming a hasher. As shown in the figure, the candle entity on the right is small, raised a hasher. It is usually called the reserve hammer line. When the selling volume gradually increases, the price continues to fall to the point that the final closing price was the same as the opening price. As shown in the figure, candlesticks on the left that looks like a cross is called the candle dodgy. And the right picture is called the gravestone dodgy because it resembles a gravestone. It can also be called the inverted T line. We have learned a lot candle slicks after going through their variations. How many kinds of candlesticks are there? And how should these candlesticks be classified? As shown, we arrange all kinds of candlesticks in an orderly manner. There is a total of 42 kinds by multiplying the rows and the columns. We will first explain the meaning of the lens of the candle entity. The first row shows green bullish with the short entity, implying that the bullish strength is weak. The second row shows green more bullish with the longer entity, meaning that the bullish strength is strong. The third row shows green big bullish with a very long entity, which means that the bullish strength has an absolute advantage. In the first row, the bodies are in the form of star lines. They are collectively called the dodgy lines, meaning that the buying and selling power are fierce and evenly matched. The fifth row shows the red bearish with the short entity implying the bearish strength is weak. The sixth row shows the red more bearish with the long entity implying a stronger bearish strength. And the seventh row shows the red very bearish with a very long entity implying the bearish strength 
has an absolute advantage. Next, we are going to unveil the meaning of the length of the upper and lower shadow lines. In the first column, there is no upper and lower shadow line on the candlestick. We usually call it the bold head, which means that the uh, situation is one-sided. The positive line indicates bullish strength and a negative line indicates strong bulls. The second column, only the lower shadow line, it looks like the candle has no long hair, so it is often called bold. It implies there is a support from the buying side. The longer the lower shadow line, the stronger the support. In the third column, the candlestick has only the hasher, which is usually called barefoot. It implies there is a resistance. The longer the upper shadow line, the stronger the resistance. In the fourth column, the lengths of the upper and lower shadow lines are almost equal, meaning that support and resistance are both equal. In the fifth column, the lower shadow line is longer than the upper shadow line, meaning that the lower support is greater than the upper resistance. In the sixth column, the upper shadow line is longer than the lower shadow line, meaning that the upper resistance is greater than the lower support. Originally, the candlesticks without arrays constitutes the price chart we often see. The screenshot is from the price chart of the BTC slash USDT in the OKEX currency trading area. Here comes the end of our section. We will share about observing the chart regular arrangement and predicting the future price rise and fall in the next video.